first time I came to China was in 1982, um, and life was really hard. It was just uh, coming out of the Cultural Revolution um, in the winter. There was not all that much good food to eat, so there was rice, but there was only some cabbage. There was not many fruits or vegetables. Um, people couldn't choose their own destination or jobs, uh, but were appointed work. Um, uh, and now I think there's a lot, there's a lot more flexibility, and there's a lot, there, there really is a lot of energy uh, now um, with lots of well, uh, leading to inf um, innovation. Uh, but I think also the fact that people can choose what they want to focus on um, also uh, makes people uh, have a, a, a better life. When I first started to to come to China, but also to study China. Uh, it was a very uh, inward-looking country, um, and uh, not many foreigners would would come. Uh, so I would be sort of a, a very curious, strange kind of person. People wanted to touch me just to to feel what a a, 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 a white skin. So much energy has gone into uh, uh, improvement of people's lives. Um, uh, into economic activity that has benefited the whole world economy. So if you look at the, the world economy, China is one of the, one of the motors, one of the, the powerhouses. Also looking at the, the millennium, millennium goals, for instance, uh, I think as, as a whole world we meet our targets uh, partly because of what China is achieving. One of the things I like to say is that a lot of people in Europe still live in the 20th century. So in, in the Netherlands, in the whole education system, we learn a lot about the Netherlands, about Europe, about uh, the US, and somehow uh, China is very much um, a side stage, it's not the, the main act. I think uh, we need to enter the 21st century where we need to acknowledge that China is a very big economic player and a big political player in the world. So I think in the Netherlands we just need to get a lot more knowledge and information in China. I think China should be part of the curriculum in high schools, for instance. So just I mean, looking at history, we need to not just look at Dutch and European history, but at Chinese history as well. What I notice is that if, um, especially uh, millennials, young people, um, they don't know very much about China, but once they get into contact with it, they are very curious. So I think in both in high school and in universities, more China-related subjects need to be introduced. One example is um, uh, one of the universities in Amsterdam uh, has a course of international relations for first year students. Um, these are students that do not choose to study China, but international relations in general. They have a model United Nations um, uh, sort of game that they play. Uh, and, and one of the, 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 the focuses is uh, the South China Sea conflict. And what I've seen is that students who uh, attend that course without actually choosing to focus on China, but after they've done so and they have to think uh, what China's position is and try to defend different positions around that conflict, they become a lot more interested in China. So by just offering people who are not necessarily looking for information on China, by offering it in a different context, uh, opens up curiosity.